Hey, it's Ryan Gillard here at Real Broker, your Calgary Realtor. And in this video, I'm gonna take you on a tour of the brand new neighborhoods in Calgary. Let's go. All right, let's get into it here. And I'm gonna start off here in the north central part of the city and talk about some of the brand new construction neighborhoods. Then I'll work my way around counterclockwise and go around the city. And first up, let's talk about Lewisburg. And while I was in the area, it was actually called Lewiston. So maybe this is incorrect to, uh, with the Calgary community map, but I see signs calling it Lewiston. And I shall go back here. So this teal part of the city that you see right here, the north central part of Calgary, if I'm generalizing, this area for the most part is in your typical price ranges. And uh, I don't think Lewiston will be any different. It's still under the design phase. It's, it's fairly new into the, into the development process. And um, in the average price ranges, you can see here, I'm on the McKee Homes website. They have the price range of Lewiston um, front drive starting at 700,000, laned home 600,000. So a laned home is a home with a detached garage, not the front attached garage, and duplex is starting in the 500. So this does fit the average price ranges in the city. And I'll show you the satellite map here. So this section right over here is Lewisburg or Lewiston. I'm not sure exactly what they're doing with that yet. And so right next to it is Livingston, another brand new area I'll cover next. Um, the one thing about this, this part of town is that it's got great connectivity. You have the Ring Road right here, Stony Trail, which connects to the Deerfoot Trail. The airport is over here. You've got Airdrie up here. And this giant section over here is Cross Iron Mills, the biggest shopping center in the Calgary area. So it, it can be convenient. From uh, Lewiston, it might be about 20 to 30 minutes to get downtown Calgary, depending on, on traffic. And there's not too much to talk about this area yet because it's still very early on into the process. And one thing to note, I'm not sure exactly how far east Lewiston will, will go, but if it goes east far enough, it'll actually come to the Noah's Creek, which you can see right here. And um, if there are homes backing onto this kind of valley and, and creek, they might be quite nice. And if you're curious, this creek, not a river by any means, but it, it actually connects to the Bow River eventually in the, in the central part of the city. And just west of uh, Lewiston, we have the area of Livingston. Now, this neighborhood is way further along the development process than Lewiston. There are big chunks of this neighborhood that are actually completely finished already, but there are still lots of new homes to be built in this area. And uh, again, this teal part of Calgary, it fits the average price ranges in the city. Now, there are exceptions. There's a pond in Livingston, and the homes backing onto the pond are quite nice. But in general, I would say this neighborhood kind of fits the average price ranges in the, in the city. And uh, it kind of fits the mold of the suburban master plan communities in, uh, in Calgary. It just has a bit of everything for everyone. You've got condos, you've got um, townhouses on the busier roads, duplexes as well. You've got laned homes, you've got front attached garage homes. And again, there are nicer homes that are in front or backing onto the pond. So it just has a bit of everything. Moving along west, we've got Carrington. Now, everything I just said about Livingston, it also applies to Carrington. The two neighborhoods are very similar. They have a similar look, price range. I'll show you the satellite map here. The one maybe big difference between the two of them is Livingston over here has one of these ponds, but in Carrington, there are one, two, three, four of them. And the other thing about Carrington that's a bit different is that it sides onto the, the northern part of Evanston, which is this neighborhood over here, which is, I think right now is completely done. And there's a lot of schools and shopping in the Evanston area. So maybe it has more connectivity to the rest of the, the established part of Calgary. But other than that, the, the two neighborhoods are very similar and uh, we'll leave it at that. Next up, moving northwest of Carrington, we have the area of Ambleton right here. Not a very big neighborhood, as you can see in the satellite view. This little section right here, and it's kind of like a continuation of Evanston, which is this neighborhood right here that has been developed last like 20 years. And uh, I'll pull up this view, you can see it a bit better. So there's a storm pond over here. It looks like a school is gonna go in over here with a track and field and a baseball diamond, and you got some playgrounds throughout the area. Again, not very big, and it kind of fits the, the mold of like the master plan suburban communities you'll see um, single family homes, both laned homes and front garage. There's condos and townhouses. And it just looks like a very family friendly neighborhood. Uh, I think the price range will be in like the, the average price ranges for North Calgary. Won't be a super high end neighborhood, but um, 
A lot of buyers looking for this type of neighborhood, just a very family-friendly, safe, brand new community. Moving west, we have the neighborhood of Glacier Ridge, this neighborhood right over here, which is currently under construction. You can see the satellite view. This yellowish section is the area under development. And uh, driving around this area, honestly, I think I was a bit disappointed. And the reason being is that this pinkish section that you see right here, northwest Calgary, is definitely nicer than this teal section, the north central part of the city. Not to be offensive, it's just, uh, it's just the reality. The northwest part of Calgary is very desirable. I thought that Glacier Ridge being further west would be nicer than, than what I saw driving through it. Not that it's a bad area, it, just, it was very normal, very typical. A lot of like duplexes, and maybe, it, maybe it's more of an entry-level area into northwest Calgary. I just thought it would be fancier than what it is. But again, it's not that uh, built up yet, so it could change over time. But my, my first impression, I was just kind of let down. I thought it would be a bit nicer than what it is. So it just seemed like a, a brand new suburban community in Calgary. It, it didn't blow me away, but it, it's probably more of an entry-level option into northwest Calgary. And moving away from Glacier Ridge, we're going to come all the way down and around to northwest Calgary and cover this area called Haskin. And I'll pull up the satellite view here. This is one of the few neighborhoods in northwest Calgary that's brand new. And the reason being is, so Glacier Ridge was kind of up here. And this whole section that you see right over here is Rocky View County. And these are all, in this area called Bear's Paw, these are all really high-end, fancy acreages, luxury estates. And I can't see the city of Calgary, you know, plowing these down to make, you know, your typical neighborhood. So essentially this is part of Calgary already. It's just a different county and it's more for your high-end um, acreage type properties. So we can't really build in this area. So Northwest Calgary, um, for the most part, is kind of capped out. That's why we're building so much on the northern end and the southern end of Calgary. There's just way more room down there to build. And you can see here... Um, Haskin is this neighborhood right here. So I'm going to zoom in just a bit. Now this satellite view is a bit out of date. Um, I would say this chunk right here is already completely developed and there's still lots of development happening here in this area. And again, it's one of the few brand new neighborhoods in Northwest Calgary. And uh, again, it's not super high end uh, for being in the Northwest. It's, it's a good spot if you want to live in Northwest Calgary and have a brand new property, but not spend like a fortune. Um, so it's not cheap by any means, but it's it's definitely attainable for a lot of people, and it's brand new. Um, it's quite scenic. There's another pond right here in the middle with some nice views. And I should mention that this area, it's also called Rockland Park. I don't know why there's so many different names here. There's Rockland Park, there's Crimson Ridge, there's Haskane. I'm going to lump them all together and just call it Haskane to make it simple. And uh, what I like about this area is even though that it's brand new, it does feel very connected to the, the city of Calgary already. A lot of the brand new neighborhoods are so far away from the city, they don't really feel part of it. But um, this area, it feels like you're right in the city. If I move over here, we've got Bones right over here, just a, maybe a five minute drive. Bones is one of the older neighborhoods in Calgary. If we go from Noah's Hill Drive to the Stony Trail, you can actually connect and go to this massive shopping center over here at Crowfoot Crossing. So it just feels like it's more connected to the, uh, the older parts of Calgary. Next up, we're moving from Haskane over here, and we're actually coming more into the older part of the city in this area called Medicine Hill, which is a very interesting neighborhood. And I'll pull up the satellite view, you can see it better. Um, so Haskane over here, and we're coming down into the Canada Olympic Park area. Now this satellite view doesn't do it justice. There's a giant ridge, all of this, all the way into the pretty much into the city center, is a ridge. And this is where the, the Canada Olympic Games were held in 1988 or 89 in Calgary. And the ski jumps, you can kind of see them right over here. So this ridge is quite substantial. There's actually a ski hill right over here as well. And this part of Calgary, I would say from about here all the way to here, during the last five years has undergone a lot of uh, construction and improvements, a lot of stores, shopping have been built new neighborhoods like Medicine Hill, and the Stony Trail Ring Road, which is, you can see right here, is finally complete. On this map, it looks like it's a simple project, but it's very hilly over here, so there's a lot of construction that had to happen to make it, to make it uh, feasible. And uh, this area, is, it's very interesting. It's a bunch of condos and townhouses built on this ridge. 
It's a very unusual part of the city. You don't really see neighborhoods like this in Calgary. I think it'd be great for someone that loves to go to the mountains. You can easily escape Calgary and go west to the Rocky Mountains, like an hour from here, probably. It's not that far of a distance. Or if you're working at COP or Windsport, this might be an area that you, you consider living in. No single-family homes in this area. They're all townhouses and condos. And from what I can see, the, the price range, condos are probably in the 300s, and the townhouses might go up to like the 500s to the 700,000 range. So not, not overly pricey, um, very unique area, lots of views, and uh, definitely an interesting area. There's not too many parts of Calgary that are like this. All right, that's it for the northwest section of the city. And next up, we're moving way down south now. So from Medicine Hill, we're going all the way down here, all the way to Alpine Park and Vermilion Hill, this section right over here. And why there's nothing in this section, I'll show you on the satellite view. So like I mentioned earlier about Northwest Calgary having the uh, Bears Paw area, same thing with the west side of the city. We have Springbank over here. Again, these are all luxury um, country acreage type properties. And essentially it is part of the city. I can't see us expanding west and you know bulldozing some of these really high-end homes. So this area we're probably capped off on the west side. And if we go further west, or further south, sorry, we actually have the First Nations Reserve right over here, the Sutina Nation. So this is native land, so we can't build in here. And uh, so all the new developments are happening in the south part of the city, in this section. Sorry, my satellite view is pretty slow. So I'm zooming in here to Alpine Park, which is this neighborhood right over here. Alpine Park and Vermilion Hill. Now, my one knock against this area is that, you can see it right here is Alpine Park. It just seems like you're in a different town. Like, if, if you look on the community map, Alpine Park, it looks like it's just part of the city. But when you're actually there, it feels like you're in a different uh, town altogether. It just doesn't feel part of the city quite yet. But that should change over time, because I can imagine the city's going to be building all in here at some point. Um, Calgary is never going to stop expanding, it seems. And... It will be part of the city at some point, but right now it just kind of feels like it's off on its own. It feels a bit isolated, um, but the neighborhood itself, it's, it's fairly nice. Uh, there's a bunch of townhouses and single-family homes, and from what I can tell, they can get pretty pricey here. I, I saw some that were selling over $1 million, but as of right now, it looks like the bulk of the homes here are selling between five hundred dollars to $1 million. And moving along from Alpine Park, we're going to cover the areas of Yorkville, Belmont, and Pine Creek, kind of in the south, uh, deep south central part of the city. And uh, so first up, Yorkville, and I'll show you in the satellite map. So we were here in Alpine Park, and we're just coming around into this section over here. I'm going to zoom in just a bit. And uh, as you can see here, lots of developments in the south part of the city. And uh, eventually, I think Calgary will extend all the way to Okotoks. Uh, the, the south part of Calgary, that's just kind of flat, and there's lots of room to expand. And so Yorkville, I think it's a bit of a, an interesting area. And you can't really see it all here quite yet. So Yorkville will be over here, Belmont's over here, and then the Pine Creek area is over here. Um, so Yorkville over here, it looks kind of unique. It has a lot of, uh, a lot of townhouses and lane homes. I think it's a bit more of an entry-level option um, in terms of housing prices. But it looks cool. It has a lot of brick in this uh, area. I like the look of the homes here. They look just a bit different compared to the other areas that we've covered. I like the use of brick in Calgary. You don't see it all that often like you do out east. And uh, the price range, from what I can tell... Our, place, our prices are a bit inflated at the moment, but it looks like it's ranging from like say 400s all the way to the 700,000 mark. So not a super expensive neighborhood, it looks like it's more of an entry level option. So it looks to me like it's just a very good family friendly neighborhood, not ultra expensive, and it looks clean, safe, and everything is brand new. Moving next door to Yorkville, we've got the neighborhood of Belmont, and I'll show the satellite view. So Yorkville will be over here, and then Belmont is right here. Not super different. Uh, Belmont, you know, driving through it, it looks maybe slightly different. Not as much brick in the buildings from what I can tell just driving through it. And I also saw a lot more uh, product type in Belmont. There are a lot more condos being developed. 
So you'll see condos, you'll see front garage homes, lane properties. So it looks like it has a bit more of a mixed bag in terms of the product type. And this deep south part of Calgary is not known to be exceptionally pricey. There are pockets here and there. But the homes in this part of town, they kind of fit like the average criteria. I think there are some condos in the Belmont area, the 300s. And more of the, the pricier homes that you might find here are like pushing 800000 That might be for like a front attached garage, like former show homes, stuff like that. You'll see a lot of homes here, like the 500s to the 700s. And that's just a good quick rundown of the Belmont area. Just south of Yorkville and Belmont, we have the neighborhood of Pine Creek, this area right here. And on the satellite, um, that refers to this area right over here. Now, there's a bunch of sub-communities here. There's uh, Creekstone, Pine Creek, and I think there's one called Hudson. Um, but I'm just going to call them all Pine Creek. That's how the CREB MLS map has them. And uh, I think just driving through it, it looks to me like it's going to be a bit pricier compared to Yorkville and Belmont with a greater percentage of single-family homes. Um, that's just my impression driving through it. It's still pretty early on in the development process. Um, there are still some condos and townhouses here. It, it's, it fits the mold of like the master plan uh, suburban communities in Calgary. But I do think there are going to be more uh, single-family homes that are a bit pricier than Belmont and Yorkville. And it's a, quite a scenic neighborhood as well. You can see all of these rolling hills in the distance. Uh, I think it's going to be quite nice when it's finished. But again, it's still fairly early on in the development process. And in terms of the price range, from what I can tell from the MLS, uh, the price range is kind of typical for these master plan communities. You got homes starting in the 500s up to 1 million. But I think on average, it'll be just a bit pricier compared to the other two neighborhoods that we talked about. So next up, just heading east of the Pine Creek Belmont area, we have Wolf Willow, this neighborhood right over here. And you can see it just south of the, I think it's the Blue Devil Golf Course, uh, quite a nice course. And this area right here is Wolf Willow. Now this might be a bit of a hidden gem for a lot of buyers because it's relatively affordable. Here is a property that I sold um, back in October on Wolf Creek Rise. And we actually got a below list price. So list price was six hundred thirty-five thousand, and we got it for six hundred and twenty thousand. So in our market, to get something under list price is actually pretty hard. Uh, even back in October, it was quite difficult. And this home is a two-story. Uh, it was brand new at the time. Eighteen hundred twenty-seven square feet, four bedrooms above grade, three full bathrooms, and it had a uh, uh, an unfinished basement like many new homes do with a parking pad. So the, the buyer would have to put in a garage themselves in the backyard, a double detached garage most likely. And I'll show you some of the photos here. So relatively simple looking properties, but again, they are brand new and they're fairly affordable. Let's show you some of the photos here. And it's also quite a scenic neighborhood as well. Um, basement, so you get the idea. All that for 620000 Now, this might be up a, a bit now because this was October and our market's still on fire. But um, overall, this area is a good product type. You've got uh, condos, townhouses, single-family homes. I've even seen apartment-style condos in the high 200s here. So a relatively affordable area, and um, I do think it's a bit of a hidden gem for a lot of buyers. Now, moving into the deep southeast part of Calgary, we come across the brand new neighborhood of Rangeview, this part of Calgary right over here. And I'll show you on the satellite map. So we were here in Wolf Willow and now Rangeview is over here. And it's a good name for it, uh, Rangeview, because it's very flat and you've got excellent views of the prairies in this neighborhood. So it's just south of Mahogany, which is one of the most uh, popular neighborhoods in the south part of Calgary. One of my favorite neighborhoods actually is Mahogany. And uh, if you are curious, I've got a video specifically on Mahogany, which you can find by clicking this link at the top. Uh, very nice neighborhood. I don't think that Rangeview is going to be as pricey and popular as Mahogany, but it's kind of like a continuation of it. It is, um, I, it looks to me driving through it. Now it's quite a small neighborhood at the moment. It's just getting started, but it looks like it's going to be more affordable than Mahogany. A lot of properties like single family homes, townhouses and duplexes that range from like 500 to 700. So more of an affordable neighborhood. Not too much to talk about yet. It's still fairly early on in the process. Um, but uh, it's probably a good neighborhood for people that want to live in the deep south and they're looking for some affordable, 
some affordability, it might be a good option for you. And next up, we're going to talk about the eastern edge of Calgary. So basically my entire life, the Calgary city limits on the eastern half of the city have always kind of stayed like right here along the Stony Trail boundary. We haven't really expanded much at all towards the east. Definitely we've expanded towards the north and the south and parts of the northwest. But my whole life basically we haven't done much at all on the eastern edges of the city. But that is changing now and there are a bunch of neighborhoods popping up here. And I'll show you here on the map. So there's Hotchkiss. Um, over here, we've got um, the Belvedere area, the, the East Hills Shopping Center over here, and we've got uh, Homestead. So we have started to develop the east part of Calgary. And uh, why is this the case? Uh, my, my hunch is that the eastern part of Calgary has kind of always been the least desirable part of the city. If you generalize Calgary, you can say like parts of the inner city, the west side and the northwest part of Calgary are the most desirable then like the south and the north central are kind of like your average parts and then parts of east calgary are maybe your least desirable parts of the area of the city that's just generalizing there are pockets here and there that that, that defy the norms but in general you can kind of lump calgary into that criteria in terms of real estate pricing and that might be a reason why we haven't developed east side all that much and I would say the eastern part of Calgary is very prairie-like. It's extremely flat. It's basically flat all the way to Winnipeg. Just prairie views. It's not nearly as scenic as the west side of Calgary where you have the foothills and the mountains. That could be another reason. There are huge tracts of land that are just super flat that are easy to develop, but we just haven't done it um, until now. So the first area that I'll talk about is Hotchkiss, and I'll show you on this map where it is. So from range view in the mahogany area, if you get onto Stony Trail right here, you can find Hotchkiss over here. Now it looks like it's easy to get to, but you actually have to go northbound quite a ways on Stony Trail and then connect to, I believe it's one of these roads over here, 114th Avenue, then come back down to get into Hotchkiss. So it's a bit of a trek to get here. Maybe over time they'll actually connect it to Stony Trail, I'm not sure, but at the moment it's a bit hard to get to. And it's not that big of an area yet. Um, and you find a lot of properties in your average price range. It's not a super expensive neighborhood. Um, you can find homes here like 500s to maybe pushing 700,000. So if you like prairie views and you want some kind of peace and quiet, um, this area is not very busy yet and um, it's fairly affordable. All right, we're almost done, just two more areas to cover. So from Hotchkiss, if we go northbound on Stony Trail, we'll come across this green area over here, Belvedere, Huxley, and Twin Hills. I'm just gonna call it all Belvedere for now. And I'll show you on this map what's happening here. This is becoming a very convenient area because they're developing this massive shopping complex called East Hills. And it's got everything. You can see here there's a Costco, there's a Walmart, there's um, pretty much everything. Lots of big box chain stores. Um, pretty much everything that you could want is in this shopping complex. So it's quite convenient um, for the eastern parts of Calgary to access this shopping center. And all around it, all around this area, you'll find a lot of, of, of sorry, I can't speak, a lot of apartments and townhouses. So it's becoming very built up around here. And uh, there are pockets of single family homes as well, both lane homes and front garage attached properties. Um, because of the location, um, it's still on the east side of Calgary, so this is generally the more affordable part of, of Calgary. And Belvedere is no different. You can find brand new homes in here from the 500s to like the higher 700s. And uh, yes, very good, convenient location. You've got easy access to 17th Avenue. So you can take 17th Avenue pretty much all the way into downtown. You can also jump onto Stony Trail, that's the ring road to go north and south. And you've also got easy access to both Chesterview, which is also becoming a very big um, town as well. And you've got easy access to 16th Avenue, which is the Trans-Canada Highway. So it's a fairly convenient location and it's relatively affordable and it's just very, uh, very convenient. And last up is the neighborhood of Homestead. So just going northbound on Stony Trail from the Belvedere area, you'll come across Homestead over here. So I'll show you on the satellite map here. So Stony Trail obviously runs right north-south, and this little pocket over here is called Homestead. And uh, so it's not all that developed quite yet, but um, there are still pockets of it that are finished. And 
for the most part, I think it's going to be fairly affordable, like a lot of the northeast part of Calgary. From what I can tell, a lot of homes that are between 500 to the higher 600s, so not too bad. It seems primarily a single-family detached home market, but there are pockets of townhouses and duplexes as well. I didn't see any condos in this neighborhood. And someone that would want to live here, maybe someone that likes the deep northeast or someone that wants to live closer to the airport, I'll show you here where the airport is. So here's Homestead. The airport is just over here, so not that far of a commute. Especially with the tunnel now, that uh, there's actually a tunnel somewhere in here that actually makes the commute a little bit easier. So easy access to the airport. Uh, maybe you're working in Airdrie. Airdrie is just up here. So easy access along the ring road to Deerfoot Trail to Airdrie. And um, it's, I think it's a scenic area. I like the prairies. It looks like a very... Uh, prairie type neighborhood, lots of, uh, lots of views, and um, just a, your typical kind of brand new suburban neighborhood in Calgary. Looks clean, it looks safe, and it's fairly affordable. All right, we're done. That's my rundown of all the brand new neighborhoods in Calgary that are currently under construction. Now, these neighborhoods are popping up all the time, so if I forgot something, you'll let me know in the comments. If you have any questions about it, give me a call, shoot me a text, send an email. I'm easy to get a hold of, and I'd love to help you out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.